Hello and welcome to this week's programme, coming to you from Shoreham-by-Sea, which is one of the oldest towns in Sussex. Old Shoreham on the banks of the River Ada dates back to pre-Roman times. St Nicholas's Church was founded here at the start of the 10th century, but behind me is the new boy, St Mary de Hora Church, founded at the end of the 11th century and is part of the ancient New Shoreham. Its harbour is the principal port serving Sussex and stretches all the way to Hove in the east. Over the footbridge, one of the pioneers in filmmaking, Francis L. Lindhurst, founded the Sunny South Film Company, which made its first commercial movie debut on Shoreham Beach in 1912. Over this side, though, Shoreham Airport is regularly used by filmmakers seeking to portray scenes from the 1930s. It's appeared in many film and TV series, including Poirot and The Da Vinci Code. Also, Chris Evans gained his helicopter pilot's licence right here in Shoreham just a few years ago. But what we're really here to talk about this week is one of the most successful community projects in Sussex. It's the Rope Tackle Centre. So I am in the foyer at the Rope Tackle Centre and I'm joined by the Chairman of Trustees, Martin Allen. Martin, thank you for joining us today. So you've Pleasure. been here since 2007. We have, yes. And you're run as a charitable organisation. We are entirely, yes. It's, um, it's a, a team of trustees who run the place. We are non-profit making. The, the money we generate comes through the people who buy tickets for events. We have a, some great support from the local council. Um, occasional sponsorship. We, so it um, really is an arts centre at the heart of the community? Absolutely right and, and that's the essence of it but it extends beyond that. We get people coming from far, far and wide. We get lots of people come from Brighton, Worthing, further afield. We've even had somebody in the audience last week who flew in from Italy. International audiences Absolutely now. Absolutely right. So yeah, you're really yeah. growing in the three uh, years you've yeah, been here. Yeah, our reputation in the three years we've been going, it's extraordinary how our reputation has grown. Yeah. And I think that really comes from the, the range of, of events that we put on. Everything is run by volunteers here. So yeah. I assume that the whole centre is staffed by volunteers. Yep, we have, um, we have a fabulous team of volunteers that's grown over the, over the three years we've been going. Um, it's become quite a community, you know, pe pe people actually love it, they come down here, but um, they can get to see shows, um, they, they do all sorts of different jobs here, they work in the box office, they work in the bar, they, they do the stewarding. I would assume that you're always looking for new volunteers. We certainly are, yes, and um, we encourage people, anybody who's, who's interested in doing, may, may just be on a very occasional stint down here, let us know, come in and have a look, look at our website, um, come and chat to some of the other volunteers and see what it's all about. Yeah. When we programme, we really try and make our programme attractive to as many people as we possibly can within the community. And we also now try and book some big names because we feel it's really important to bring those people into a community like Shoreham so people can access good art and good people easily. And we've had people like Michael McIntyre, we had him just before he filled the O2. We've also had names like Jonathan Miller, um, we've had Will Self, we had Arthur Smith, and next week we've got um, Grayson Perry coming. So in the lead up, up until Christmas, it's not that far away unfortunately no. now, um, what are some of the acts that you would recommend that people could come along and see? Well, we've got a range of people. We've uh, Perhaps one of the attractive ones would be Robert Powell, who is doing an evening of Jane Austen and that's actually selling very well and Elizabeth Garvey is also is Jane Austen in that in that performance um, we've got the folk star Bella Hardy coming to do her Christmas show um, we've got obviously we've got Herbie Flowers on Boxing Day which is a very popular event um, the Noise Next do Door are doing a grand New Year's Eve performance and that's your comedy group that's our comedy group Hazel O'Connor is coming also 
We have uh, films on a Saturday morning once a month for young families and children and we have a once a month film for adults and we also in our new programme and there are a few in this programme there are some afternoon performances for people who like to come to the cinema in the afternoons. So again quite a broad spectrum. Absolutely. And the other thing I noted just because I love a bit of dance you run salsa classes, yoga classes mm -hmm. and you're also um, open for hire as well. That's right on a Monday we have salsa dancing in the evenings and yoga classes during the day and yes we are available for hire for conferences and um, we're used quite frequently for conferences also for corporate events and for, we have a much smaller room than the auditorium which is available for meetings so if you wish to hire the venue uh, which we and we also do teas, coffees and food, um, do give us a ring and uh, we'll talk to you about your requirements. Well I'm really not too sure how you manage to fit absolutely all this stuff into your programme and it's been a real pleasure meeting you, you really have a lovely venue here and best of luck with everything that you've got coming up in the future. Thank you very much and I hope we'll see you here soon. Hopefully. <laughs> Well, as is customary here on Sussex Online TV, we normally invite our guests to sign us out. But as there is a stage and a spotlight, I could not resist the opportunity to do it myself. Thank you very much for joining us in this week's programme. You've been watching Sussex Online TV. Sussex newspapers, keeping Sussex informed for over 130 years.